Sally there and a very warm welcome to the France Fine Guides weekly YouTube presentation. My name is Alexis and as promised last week I'm just going to touch a little bit this week on the current French property market. Well you know prices have always traditionally remained more stable in France, there have been less rises and dips than there have been in the UK. The, um, according to the FNAIM which is the National Association of French Estate Agents the prices generally have seen a little increase this year, but remain quite stable. Sales activity uh, is quite buoyant, and actually for 2011 it's predicted that prices will rise by about 3%. So, if you are tempted to come and buy your own property in France, now is probably as good a time as any to consider that. Um, you know, international buyers still abound. The French to French market is actually quite a bit slower but Northern European and British buyers are still around. Uh, one of the uh, interesting things and more tempting things for you here is that the French mortgage interest rates are actually the, the lowest they've been for 50 years at 3.3%. So this is actually worth considering if you are tempted, say, to buy a place in France. If you'd like to know more about that or get advice on obtaining a French mortgage, do write, or call, write to us or call us. We can help you with that. Um, you know, in these hard times that we're living in, it's important to get the best rate you possibly can for your money. Talking of which, uh, again, when you do invest in your property and get that far, and you're thinking about exchanging your sterling into euros, much of the pound is weak, or well, even more because of that, you should actually consider using smart currency exchange to do your currency exchange. My husband and I were um, absolutely thrilled to have saved something like £8,000 when we bought this house, which I'm sitting in now, and um, which we're busy renovating. The, when you're investing that much money, you need to get the very best rate possible. You'll always get a better, better rate with Smart, and actually a very personal service too. You'll always uh, find that you're speaking to a person and not a machine, and no buttons to press. We were really impressed with them, so that's something else for you to consider. Now, interestingly, uh, traditionally, English people tend to buy property actually close to their country, Spanish close to theirs, Swiss close to theirs, and so on. Brittany and Normandy remain ever popular, the Dogon as well, although we, of course, ventured down to the south. That's a popular area too. But if you are thinking about which area to go to, do tune in next week because I'll be giving a little overview of each area. You could also uh, invest in a property by France Buying Guide. I've got an overview of every single area in that, and it's been recently revamped. So that should be a good starting point for you. So as I say, now really is as good a time as any. Um, a few pointers for you. What, just consider what you actually want to buy. Uh, do you want to have some of land? Land is cheaper in France. But do you really want to have like a hectare or even more? It does require maintenance. Think about what really suits you. And think about your budget and stick to it. When you do instruction agents, you know, they charge more fees, greater fees than they do in the UK, and they should work for you. So just make sure they're working for you and not the other way around. Uh, if you want to renovate a property, fine, lots of English people do. But again, think about location because um, as an investment, investment point of view, you're going to be far better off in a village or a town or somewhere with a little bit of life than somewhere that's totally isolated, should you actually have to have a resale. All these things are worth thinking about when, when, before you do actually consider buying. So that's about it for this week. As I say, next week I'll be touching on the, um, on the different areas of France and letting you know how they compare price-wise and otherwise. So until then, I wish you a very good health, uh, salty, and uh, well, here's to France.